Hey guys, welcome to Allcraft TV. For this tutorial, we'll be going over how to crochet this textured single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet washcloth. There is also a shell or scallop border around the edge to give it a nice effect. I will be using white and pink cotton. A 4mm crochet hook. A needle to weave in the ends. And scissors. I will show you how to do the textured stitch in yarn as the camera that I use has an issue focusing on cotton. But remember to use cotton for the washcloth. To begin, you need to make a slip knot and chain in multiples of 3 plus 2. To chain, you need to yarn over and pull through for one chain, yarn over, pull through for two chains, yarn over and pull through for three chains. And continue to chain in multiples of three until you reach your desired length. Now chain two more. I chained a total of 35 for my washcloth. Skip the first stitch from the hook and into the second stitch single crochet one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through for one single crochet. Now into the next chain, single crochet one. And into the next chain along, single crochet one again. Continue to single crochet one into every chain until you reach the end of this chain. Now single crochet one into the last chain. You should have one row of all single crochets. Now chain two, one and two, and turn your work. Into the last stitch from the previous row, this one here, single crochet one into that stitch. Into the same stitch, half double crochet one. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook for one half double crochet. Into the same stitch again, do one double crochet. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through your last two loops for one double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet one into the third stitch along. Into the same stitch as the single crochet, half double crochet one. Now double crochet one into the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet one into the third stitch along. Then half double crochet one and double crochet one into the same stitch to make your textured single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet stitch. Into the third stitch along, single crochet one, then half double crochet one, and now double crochet one into the same stitch. Repeat this pattern along and I will meet you back up near the end of this row. Into this stitch here, single crochet one, now half double crochet one into the same stitch and double crochet one into the same stitch also. That is your last single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet group for this row. Skip two stitches and into the very last stitch, single crochet one to finish row one. Now chain two and turn your work. Into the last single crochet stitch from the previous row, single crochet one into it. Half double crochet one into the same stitch. Now double crochet one into the same stitch also. 
skip two stitches and into the third stitch, which was the single crochet from the previous row, single crochet one into it. So now into that same stitch, you need to half double crochet one and double crochet one into the same stitch. Skip two stitches again and into the third stitch, single crochet one, half double crochet one, and now double crochet one into the same stitch. Into the third stitch along, single crochet one, half double crochet one, and then double crochet one into that stitch. Continue this pattern along and I will meet you up near the end of row two. For the last single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet group for this row, skip two stitches and then into the third stitch, single crochet one, half double crochet one, and double crochet one into the same stitch. Now skip two stitches again and into the very last stitch for this row, single crochet one into it to finish the row. To begin every row until you make a square, chain two and turn your work. Into the first stitch, single crochet one. Now half double crochet one. And then double crochet one into the same stitch. Into the third stitch along, single crochet one into the stitch. Then half double crochet one and then double crochet one. Continue this pattern along the row and I will show you how to finish every row until you make a square. Into the third stitch, single crochet one, half double crochet one, and double crochet one. Skip the next two stitches and into the very last stitch, single crochet one. And that has finished your third row. Just repeat this row until you have your desired height for the washcloth. This is my full size single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet textured washcloth. Now we are going to single crochet one into every stitch along the edges and single crochet three into the corner spaces. But firstly, chain one. Now single crochet into each of the stitches. You can pause here and I will meet you back up at the end to do the first corner together. I am just single crocheting my last few. Now into the corner, single crochet three. That's one single crochet, two single crochets and three single crochets. For the next edge of the washcloth, do the exact same number of single crochets that you did for the previous edge. This is because you want to make an even square and you need an even amount of single crochets to do a shell border. It might be tricky but just place the single crochets wherever they will fit along the edge. I will meet you at the end to do the next corner. Into the corner, do three single crochets. That's one single crochet, two single crochets, and three single crochets. 
Just continue to put the same number of single crochets into the next two edges with three single crochets into the corner space. I will meet you back up when I have finished the square. Into your last corner, single crochet three. But for the last single crochet, yarn over with the pink to finish your single crochets. Now that you have changed color, single crochet one into every single crochet from the previous row around the square in the new color. And continue to single crochet one into each stitch along until you get back up to finish this border. To finish this part of the border, slip stitch into the first pink single crochet. You should have your textured stitch in the middle, one row of single crochets around the edges in white, then one row of single crochets in pink around the edges. Now chain three. Into the same stitch, double crochet four. That's one double crochet. Two double crochets. Three double crochets. Four double crochets. Skip the first stitch and into the second stitch along single crochet one. Now into the second stitch along do five double crochets. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets, four double crochets, and five double crochets. Single crochet one into the second stitch along to finish the second shell. Do five double crochets into the second stitch. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets, four double crochets, and five double crochets. Skip the first stitch and single crochet one into the second stitch along. Continue to do the shells along the first edge and I will meet you up near the first corner. Now that we are at the first corner, you will see there were the three single crochets in the corner space. So into that middle single crochet stitch, double crochet five into the middle stitch. Skip the first stitch and do one single crochet into the next stitch along the second edge. For the next three edges, you will need to do the same amount of shells that you crocheted for the first edge so that you can make an even square. So into that second stitch across, do five double crochets. Now skip one stitch and single crochet one into the next stitch along. Continue this pattern around the washcloth, crocheting one shell into the middle single crochet in each corner and the same amount of shells on each edge. I have finished the border of the washcloth and now you just have to weave in the ends and then you'll be finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This washcloth makes a great housewarming gift, or you could even just make it for yourself. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time.